Hey guys, so let's talk about Astos. So why am I releasing this video now? Because some of you might have started to notice that in events that Astos is not synergized, he will not be able to cap. Meaning that he will not be able to deal 999,999 HP damage. So it is very important that in, you know, any following fight, you still want him to deal as much damage as possible, then this is the two stats that you need to pay attention to. Max Brave and HP Damage Up. So why Max Brave? His overhead buff is based on his Max Brave. So if his Max Brave is higher, then the start Brave in his overhead buff will be higher as well. And the damage that he dealt is based on that number but it is amplified with HP damage up. So the higher the HP damage up, the higher the max brave up, then he will be dealing phenomenal damage. Stats like attack, brave damage up and those are just important for him to be able to accumulate brave on his overhead buff because the overhead buff accumulates based on brave damage that he deal and only his LD and FR can deal brave damage. And most of the time, if you enter Echoes, Echoes, and during his first PT phase, you are using Echoes and an LD, he should be able to cap on his uh, overhead buff. So there is no need, um, you don't have to worry so much about it. So it's okay that you jeopardize some attack stats when you are using Astos, which is why I would recommend Brothers Summon as the best summon if you are running Astos. Anyway, so we are here to talk about the top 11 support unit for Astos and here we have at number 11 is Ram. So Ram has 40% HP damage up including those from her BT and 95% max brave up. That is incredibly good, in fact one of the best characters that provide this stats. But the disadvantage is that Ram does not have an overhead buff. So if you do not have an overhead buff, you will not be able to fulfill all of Astos FR conditions. So it will be slower for you to build up the uh, HP damage bonus during your FR phase. So which is why I kind of put Ram at number 11. And Ram herself does not have a generic FR per se. So you have to rely on a third character unit if you want to actually bring uh, Ram together with Astos. And here we have at number 10 is Sarah. So Sarah is better than Ram because she has higher HP damage up and higher max brave up. But the disadvantage is that Ram, uh, Sarah needs some turn before you can get her BT stack up to 3. And she also does not have an overhead buff and her FR is not generic enough. So a very similar reason uh, compared to Ram. But since Sarah has better stats, so Sarah is at number 10 and Ram is at number 11. At number 9, so at number 9 is Rosa. So Rosa has 50% HP damage up including those from her BT and 75% max brave up. So compared to Sarah, technically Rosa's stat is not as good, but at least Rosa has a generic FR. I'm sorry the slide say Ursula, but it's actually Rosa. So Rosa has a generic FR, which means you can use Rosa FR as the main FR, just that you will lose out a total of 50% HP damage up coming from Astos FR. I mean, if you are using Astos FR as main, you get that 50%. But since you are using Rosa, then you do not have that 50%. But anyway, for me, i rather build up the HP damage bonus faster than being too worried about that 50%. And at number 8, Ursula. So 40% total HP damage up from including her BD and max player up of 105%. So technically, um, she has slightly better max player up compared to Rosa and just 10% lesser HP damage up. Honestly, I have not calculated like for every 10% HP damage up and for every 10% max brave up, how much does that impacts Astos damage output. 
but anyway it's not that big of a difference which is why I still place Ursula at number 8 um, so being the same issue with Rosa is that she will not be able to fulfill all of Astos FR condition so it's better to use Ursula own FR as her FR is generic but at the same time losing out on that 50% HP damage out from Astos FR Another point to make is Ursula FR is instant turn so that might interrupt your setup um, in order to get like exactly 6 turn before you enter a source PT phase. And number 7 is Quistis. So 55% HP damage up from BT and Max Griff up 115%. That is a lot for a source. But again, uh, Quistis FR is required to be the main FR if you're using her with Astos because she cannot fulfill Astos condition and hence you are losing out on that 50% HP damage up as well but anyway Quistis is at number 7 and at number 6 is Queena so the thing here is from number 6 onward so practically everyone here is magic unit so they can fulfill Astos condition and they have an overhead buff so which means Astos FR should and must be used as the main FR if you are using this support so Queena at number 6 even though Queena's BT effect does not affect uh, Astos but Queena have 20% HP damage up and 110% max wave up so that is still pretty good in order for Astos to maximize his damage. And at number 5, Bars. Wait a minute, Bars FR cannot fulfill Astos condition, so I kind of misplaced him here. Alright, so delete him off this list. So now we are at top 10, so assume Bars is not here. So Ram is now at number 10, and at number 9 is Sarah, and we have Rosa, Ursula, Quistis and Queena at number 5. Bye Barts. So back to unit with Magic FR and at number 4 we have Shalota. So she have HP damage up 40% including those from her BT and then Max Brief up 85%. Really really good character for Astos. And at number 3 is Aerith. So perfect unit she has fast charge, she can supercharge Astos FR 120% HP damage bonus but the disadvantage here is that her FR is also instant turn and that might interrupt how you are setting up the entire BT phase FR including Astos BT phase but anyway Aerith has 40% um, HP damage up including BT and Max Brief up 75% and compared to Shalota, so Shalota seems to have higher max brave up, right? But the thing here is that Aerith has an often attack, so it does help increase the overall damage uh, for Astos in his PT phase. But then again, Astos is already overkilling the enemy, so it's not like you actually need Aerith uh, follow up attack or the often attack to kill, to defeat the enemy. So, number 3, number 4, interchangeable, depending on who you want, both of them is equally good. And here at number 2 is Braska. So Braska have 40% HP damage up and 110% max brave up, higher than uh, the stats that Aerith provides. But Asos, sorry, Braska does not have a follow up attack. But with his BT, he actually hit very hard. So when you're using his FR to build up the HP damage bonus, you get some additional damage from there. So, Braska. And at number one, the best support for Astos is Garnet. Garnet has 50% HP damage up, including her BT, and a max brief up of 165%. So if you look into Braska is just 110, so Garnet has an additional 55% max brave up. Some other characters that are good like Ramza, but they do not have Echo, so I did not include them in. Anyway, Garnet is currently the best, 
and she also have a follow up attack every three turns, and that also help to increase the over overall damage during Astos BT. The only disadvantage here is that Garnet is not a charger, so she can't charge. So you do need to bring a third unit at least to charge. So I hope you like this video. Just do remember, if you bring any of this to support for Astos, it is very likely that you will already cap. And if you just bring one, probably Astos will be doing around eight hundred thousand, not nine hundred and ninety nine, but eight hundred thousand. Or let's say worst case scenario, maybe seven hundred thousand is enough to defeat the enemy. You will overkill the enemy anyway, so just pick one of this support, bring in your third part, uh, third unit for utility, and you should be good to go. Alright, so thank you for watching and have a good day.